Uh, we are going to show how to process uh, the data, the stages of processing the data, starting from changing montage, uh, artifact correction, computing spectra, computing ERPs, and comparison the results of analysis with the database. So first, uh, go to file, open file from some um, place in which uh, the data were stored. So click here on the desktop, we have some files. Uh, click uh, one of them. Okay, so this is a file in which EEG was recorded. And uh, this EEG was recording in a task condition. It's, the task is a visual CPT task. The first step is uh, to change, to set the montage. So go to change montage icon. And as you can see, there are many uh, possibility how to uh, different types of montages and go down uh, to the list and uh, at the bottom of the list you have three uh, database montage of uh, database version 2 referential montage uh, common average montage and local average montage you can use each of them and the database have uh, normalized uh, normal data for all the three montages. Uh, I, I'm opening the um, version uh, two database montage common average. Okay, so I, I did it. It's common average montage. Uh, then we select some time interval about two minutes and we need to get rid of uh, I blinks artifacts so you click the artifact correction uh, uh, menu or simply you go to analysis and in analysis you select artifact correction uh, key uh, then in uh, the window, special filter parameters estimation window occurs. So you select uh, the methods of artifact correction ICA. There are two methods, PCA, principal component analysis, and ICA, which is uh, independent component analysis methods for correcting artifacts. Uh, select ICA. And uh, the, the program start uh, uh, decomposing uh, the background EEG that you selected. You selected about two minutes. It start decomposing EEG into independent components. It takes time, uh, and you can and after approximately 100 iterations, it stops. So it finds the component. The topographies of the component are presented on the right of the window, and you select the component that corresponds to eye blinks as well as to eyes uh, uh, horizontal eye movement. In this case, we we see only uh, her, uh, eye blinks topography. This is just the first, the largest topography. So you you select this topography simply by clicking on this uh, map and you press OK and uh, eye movement uh, artifacts were corrected. As you can see, there is no eye movement artifact in this case. The next uh, step would be to uh, get rid of other types of artifacts. You know that besides uh, eye movement artifact, the uh, recording may contain uh, some uh, body movement artifacts, some unexpected uh, drops of electrodes, 
a center muscle artifact and so on and so forth to get rid of this type of artifact we we, we are using another uh, program another option uh, and the prox the option is called search and re re rejection artifact mode so basically in this mode we uh, we uh, mark uh, the epochs in which uh, the voltage exceeds the threshold of 100 microvolts in which the slow waves exceed the threshold of 50 microvolts and the slow waves are defined as uh, the frequencies in the, the frequency uh, range from 0 to 1 hertz we also exclude uh, epochs in which fast waves uh, exceed the threshold 35 microvolt and the frequency bed is defined from 20 to 35 um, hertz. So we run this uh, option, this, uh, this program, and the, uh, the, the computer will automatically mark uh, the, those intervals and those intervals we will be excluded from further analysis like I show you an example like uh, in uh, at this epoch you can see that there was a drop of uh, electrode and uh, this drop results in artifacts so and the program will automatically uh, automatically detect it, this artifacts and we mark it so and this artifact will not be included in the analysis the next step is to compute the spectra so go to analysis find uh, the spectra computing spectra so click this uh, option and uh, select the fragment for which you are going to compute spectra. In this case, it's uh, the task condition, VCPT task. So we selected this, uh, the, uh, the task condition. Uh, if you are doing it the first time, the analysis the first time, load uh, the parameters from the database. Uh, and the as you can see there are many uh, there are uh, different task conditions but the parameter basically is the same for all task conditions so it doesn't matter from which task condition you download parameters you can click just for example visual cpt task and that's it and you have to do it only once because the parameter for uh, calculation the spectra will remain the computer unless you change that so we selected the fragment, it's a visual CPT task fragment. We download the parameters of spectral analysis computation and we click OK and the computer now computes uh, spectra. It computes spectra, so we got uh, the spectra for this subject. We computed spectra for this patient. The spectra are presented on the screen, so for each um, uh, location we got the spectra and now we can co compare the spectra with the database so you go to analysis click uh, the op we computed spectra for this patient the spectra are presented on the screen so for each uh, uh, location we got the spectra and now we can co compare the spectra with the database so you go to analysis click uh, the option comparison of results so in a way we, we have a possibility to compare the spectra with the normative data with the spectra computed say two days ago so we easily can do <coughs> a pre and post comparison we can comp uh, compare spectra with with some other spectra or with grand average or whatever there are many possibilities of for comparison of results